Hi, so this is the Coolmaster Hyper T4, and what I'm gonna do is give you a very close up view of this fan, and give you some reasons why I got this Hyper T4 over the Evo 212. So let me just get started with uh, zooming into the fan. So the fan itself, as you can see, is uh, fairly large. You see the width here is over five inches, probably five and a quarter inches. Now, one of the reasons why I got this is because this width here is actually slightly less than that of the uh, Evo 212. In fact, it's about 10 millimeters less. So some people said that the Evo 212 was jamming up against their RAM slots and they had to shift some of their RAM slots in order to actually get the fan to fit. So this, you would have no issue with that because it's actually less, it's actually uh, about 10 millimeters less. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I got it. The other main reason why I got it was basically the way it mounts. So I have a AMD FX 8320 and I do not want to remove the motherboard to, to get these mounting plates on there. So the great thing about this is, and I'll show you later on, uh, is that it just has this clip. And for my purposes with my AMD 8320, or uh, which is the eight core, FX chip uh, CPU that um, I do not have to remove the motherboard to get the mounting plate on and the, the way it works as you can see of the mount here and, and I'll zoom in and, and give you different angles here of, of how it would work with the AMD And I got this specifically for my situation and because I, I know it's very frustrating. Once, once you have the motherboard mounted, you really do not want to remove the motherboard. And I've had my motherboard, my FX CPU 8320 for about three years now. And the fan was sort of in a, inefficient after three years. For whatever reason, it was going from a max of 64 degrees Celsius now to 77 degrees Celsius and it probably would go higher if not for the internal throttling and temperature regulation of the motherboard itself. As you can see, I'm, what I'm trying to do is give you an angle of this um, and here's the top. So what I'm going to do is show you the mounting here, at least. So th this is your typical clip that you see in a lot of these classic uh, mounts. So what I'm gonna do is thread it through. And uh, I guess turn it over here. So you can see now. So now that I got the other side through, you can see I got the other side through. I, I simply put that in the middle. So once I put that in the middle here, and of course it's it's a lot harder for me simply because I'm trying to film this and, and get the video also in focus. Uh, but this isn't an installation video. You, you could uh, see my other video that I'll have. So you see I, I finally did get it through and I, I have that right in the middle now and this thing basically now balances out as you can see. But, but I think you get the idea with, with how easy it is. As you can see now I have it seated there. You know, it's it, it's just a very easy mount. It, it's no different than the stock fan that I'll have that I'll be removing, but, which is the nice part about it because the last thing I really want to do is spend all that much time removing the motherboard and having the other mounting plates on. So, uh, but just in case you didn't get it for your AMD FX. Uh, I just want to show you some of the other accessories that it comes with. 
So you see this is the fan mounting plate in case you need an extra fan here. And because this is thinner than the Evo 212, you can actually fit another fan on here without blocking maybe some of the other components that you have like the RAM slots. So, so this is a extra fan mounting plate. And it does come with all the screws for that as you can see. And this is what I'm talking about in that I, I really do not want to remove my motherboard just to get this seated in there. And, and having these, you know, these clips. And as far as I can tell, the Evo 212 was strictly mounted via the screws. You know, mounted via these screws, so... And it does come with the heating contact gel between the CPU and this heating element right here. And these, I believe they're fan screws. And it comes with uh, this, which is on the underside of the adjustment for the mounting plate. And also comes with the Intel socket mount. So with the Evo and also with this one because a lot of these mounts are universal and of course it comes with the manual that gives you all the different situations for all the various sockets. Um, but really uh, for, you know, I, I would encourage uh, this one being, you know, if you, if you find yourself in the same situation that I am where you really uh, do not want to remove the motherboard. Um, you know, this is really a very good way to go with this Coolmaster Hyper T4. And that's really what I wanted to mention. Uh, this will be, the link to buy this is in the description area if you, in, in case you need to know where to get this and where I got it from. Um, but overall also, um, you know, I, I hope this helped. Uh, stay tuned for my other videos where I actually do the comparison between this fan and the stock fan that I have. And uh, that's really it. Uh, that's really what I wanted to say. And uh, hope this helped and thank you for watching.